NASA's Perseverance rover got its first look around Mars this month as the rover searches for signs of ancient life on the red planet, collects samples of rock and dust, and identifies the planet's climate. Mm, astrophysicist with the National Science Foundation, Dr. Joe Pesci, joins us now to discuss the future of Mars expl exploration, the possibility of sustaining life, and the prospects of hosting human life on that planet. So, Dr. Joe, tell us a little bit about this little rover and what its broader mission is and what it can tell us about Mars that we don't already know. Yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? Especially the, the landing video that we saw for the first time. Uh, just, just remarkable. So, you know, I think uh, this is a continuation of, of missions to Mars to explore the geology. And in this case, in particular, uh, to explore potential um, likelihood of life in the past on Mars and, and what that means for uh, future exploration, as you pointed out. It's also a big technology demonstrator. And a lot of what we saw, the video of the entry, descent, and landing, uh, you know, that was, that was new, as I said. Mm -hmm. And it was all designed to kind of understand uh, new technology that's being used. And that new technology uh, will be improved for future missions, uh, hopefully including uh, human exploration. Yeah. What gives scientists the uh, hope or expectation or suspicion that Mars may have once sustained some sort of life? Well, I think primarily uh, the fact that there's evidence uh, for wide-scale large amounts of water on, on Mars in the distant past, as it turns out, um, although it's also looking like there's significant amounts of water under the surface in the form of ice on Mars. And so water is important uh, both for biology and so that may be an indication that when Mars was, it's Mars's climate was a little bit more uh, hospitable to life as we know it in, in the distant past, that is warmer, maybe a, a denser atmosphere, atmosphere with oxygen perhaps, uh, and, and liquid water, that life existed on Mars in the past. Uh, but water on the surface or under the surface or at least accessible is important for exploration in the future because water is necessary for life and for us if we were exploring. Uh, water can be used to, to make oxygen, uh, which is presently lacking in the atmosphere uh, of, of Mars, at least at the level for uh, comfortable exploration without you know, without uh, life support equipment, and, uh, and, and can be used to make fuel, uh, rocket fuel, for traveling back to Earth or to other areas. So, and so, well, you know, yeah, that water right, is very important. And, and if the ultimate goal is, is human, you know, either exploration or travel towards Mars, perhaps even eventual habitation, or at least staying there for a while, as I believe is necessary if you even want to go in the first place, what, how does this get us closer towards that goal? So, you know, the technology demonstration will help with that. So, you know, Mars has a very thin atmosphere. Atmosphere, um, it, it, it requires quite uh, extensive technology just to come in and land. And mm -hmm. so the technology that we saw demonstrated on Perseverance landing will be used in the future. Um, and, and, you know, so the exploration of these sites that look like they had water, uh, will allow us to understand the surface chemistry, the, the geology of Mars in, in, a, in a better way. Uh, there's a technology demonstrator, among others, uh, the MOXIE instrument that will produce oxygen from uh, the Martian atmosphere. And, you know, that's, that's an interesting experiment. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens with that because, again, oxygen is going to be important for future exploration. But, you know, I can't... Um, uh, uh, stress enough just the exploration quality of of what's happening here. You know, we as humans want to know what's going on, and Mars uh, in the past was probably very similar to Earth, and so mm -hmm. understanding Mars helps us understand Earth uh, better as well. Yeah. So, so when are we going to know what they found? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, they're so they're just testing. Uh, their instruments now because they've just they've just arrived so they'll be testing and making sure that everything is working well uh, so far I, I understand that things are working well and then they'll start 
uh, roving and exploring. And, uh, you know, this mission includes uh, sample collection and caching with the intent that future missions will come and pick up those samples and return them to Earth so we can study them better on Earth. It's always better to, you know, be able to study these things in the laboratory, even though the robots are really quite capable uh, on the surface of Mars. Uh, so, you know, in the coming weeks and months, uh, we'll be, there'll be a lot of information flowing from, from Perseverance. And I'm particularly interested in seeing what happens with the Ingenuity uh, helicopter, which will be a first, mm. uh, first for human exploration. That's that is going to be so cool. Very All right. cool. Dr. Thank you, Joe. sir. Great to see you. Thank you. Nice seeing you. Thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. A lot more rising for you after this.